order to subscribe for my channel please click here or click here please like share and comments on my videos and channel thank you what is SLA definition SLA definition is used to create and progress SLAs enabling you to use an SLA system for your organization's tasks for example the priority one incident should be resolved quickly so four hours is the SLA duration which can be defined for your SLA definition when you create the SLA definitions there are also notifications which are attached and which can be sent for the reminder of elapsed SLA percentage For one of the definition, if you have four hours to work for that particular task as part of the SLA, if 50% time, that means if two hours are elapsed, that means gone, then you will get a reminder for four hours of SLA. SLA definition form. In ServiceNow, you can create different SLA definitions for different tables and tasks. Now these are the fields which we are going to talk about where you can configure different SLA definitions. The first field we have is name where you can define the name of the SLA definition. Then you have type. Here you can select the what kind of SLA you have either it's OLA or is SLA or it's pinned contract as well if you have a simple contract you'll find three options in this particular field. Then you have target. What kind of resolution or SLA you have? Resolution or response? You'll find two options over here. Resolution and response. Then you can select the table. On which table you want to create these SLAs. Then you have workflows. Now once SLA will be triggered, if you want to attach any kind of workflow, you can mention here. Mostly you attach workflows for notifications, as I mentioned, for different reminders for the SLAs. This is the application scope. This is the duration type, that what kind of duration you want. You want to specify something or is it two days business days that's what you can define here next is duration where you can define the exact duration eight hours four hours two hours five minutes as per your SLA definitions then you have schedule resource where you can mention the exact schedule you want you don't want any schedule that you can mention or if you want to follow any kind of schedule that you can mention for example if I am working from 9 to 5 then in that case SLA definition I can mention that schedule it will follow my schedule basically or as per the schedule I have selected for this definition then you have enable logging so if you want to enable logging for this definition you can do it with the help of this field Now here are the important sections of SLA definition where you can mention start condition, pause condition, stop condition and reset conditions. That when exactly your SLA will be started, paused, stopped or reset. In start condition you can see you can put some conditions that when exactly if you are creating a task, when exactly SLA should be attached to your task and start the time and start the calculation of your duration. Then you have pause condition. Whenever you want to pause that SLA, you can mention that condition as well. As, exam as an example, an incident, if I take an example, that if you have a state where you can put the waiting for the customer, in that case, you can't do anything because that SLA is not something you have to do anything. You're totally dependent on the customer response. In that case, if you will change the state of the field to waiting for customer, in that case, SLA can be paused, but you have to put that condition. 
So it is not out of the box. If you have to, if you have to do that functionality, then you have to provide that condition in pause condition. That means that time or that duration will not be calculated. Then you have stop condition. That means when exactly you want to stop the SLA. So for example, if you are, if, uh, SLA, uh, if, if priority is there, if you are changing the priority, maybe, or you are resolving the incident or resolving or completing any kind of request, in that case, you can stop the uh, SLA as well. And then you have reset condition. That means if you have SLA and you have changed the priority or, or you have uh, you have some conditions where you want to reattach the SLA, reset the condition. In that case, you can select this option. So in this case, the running SLA will be canceled or completed and new SLA will be attached. You can create SLA definitions in service level management application. Under that, you have this module SLA definitions. If you will click on SLA definitions, it will show you the list of SLA definitions which are already created. You can click on new button. It will open up the SLA definition form with the same fields which we just talked about. Here you have name. So you can put demo P1 incident response. SLA. Here you can select, as I mentioned, SLA, OLA, or underpinning contract. I will select the SLA. Here I can put the target, whether it's response SLA or resolution. I can put response. Here the table is already selected, incident. You can select any other table as well. Here we have default SLA workflow. We can change the workflow as well. Here we have user specified durations. You have some other fields as well, but this time I will select response should be in five minutes. So I have selected five here. And then I have schedule source. Is it with SLA definition or no schedule? So I will select the SLA definition. I can select the schedule here, but this time I will just do no schedule. That means your SLA will run 24 by seven. So now you have that opportunity to create different kind of SLA definitions as per the teams you have you work. So the shift you have, there might be some teams which work in different shift. So you cannot run, you cannot run the SLAs 24 by 7. So you have to run the SLAs as per the team's shift durations. So in that case, you can select those schedules, but as of now, I'm just selecting no schedule. So it will select only five minutes of SLA duration for response. Here is the start condition. The one exactly I want to start the SLA. I can put maybe, I can select this condition as well, like retrospective, retroactive start, and it will be set start to create it. That means when my ticket will be created, it will automatically attach the SLA. I don't have, it is, it is asking if I have retroactive pause. Well, I'm just unchecking it right now. Now, how can I put a pause condition? I can do it right here and I can put state. State is on hold and You have on hold reason that will be awaiting caller. Now, if this is the condition, then it should pause the SLA. Then I have a stop condition. Now, when exactly I should think of that SLA is done, that means I have responded to the ticket and it should stop the 
response SLA for me. So in that case, what I should do, I should do state should be in progress. If it's in progress, that means it has stopped. Now, what exactly you want to reset the SLA? I want to reset the SLA if priority changes, maybe. In that case, you can select this. If priority is changing, you will see that SLA will be reset. So I am saving this. So this is how you create SLA definitions.